What's up there, good peoples? So I want to give you guys some strategy right now. All right, I'm gonna give you some strategy. All right, so the market is changing. I've done uh, some videos in the past where I was saying how uh, we're coming into the time whereas you're going to want to start learning some alternative forms of financing, all right, a aside from just bank financing, all right? So I'm gonna give you guys some strategies right now. <clears throat> now, with, with that said, I wanna preface it with this. This will not work with every single offer that you do, all right? You want to understand the seller situation, okay? Because that will dictate if, if you apply this particular strategy or some other strategies that I, I might go into later on, you know, in, in another video. But here's a, a strategy that you that you want to uh, to consider, and that is the three. I don't I don't have a name for it, but the the, the three tier um, offer or the three option offer, however you want to, you want to verbalize it, all right? Um, and that is this. Um, so you want to give three different offers, all right? So um, the first offer would be either owner financing or a, a, a master lease option, all right? If you don't know what a master lease option is, I don't have time to go to uh, go into that in this video, research it, learn it, and you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? So either owner financing, whereas the, the seller actually holds the note, or a master lease option. That's that's going to be option one, okay? That's, that's offer number one. That's going to be your highest offer, all right? So if the seller wants $300,000, you're going to offer $300,000 or more, 310, doesn't matter, right? Uh, but because you're gonna make the terms of that work for you. Again, if you have no clue what I'm talking about when it comes to, uh, to owner financing or master lease options, do some research and then, and then it'll it'll click and it'll make sense, all right? So that's your, your first offer, all right? Or your that's offer number one. And by the way, you're submitting all these at the same time. You're basically saying, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Listing Agent, uh, and I'm talking about properties that, that are on the market right now. You could do this with off-market properties as well. But, you know, Mr. and Mr. Listing Agent, I have three offers for you. You can ask the seller to uh, to choose which offer works best for them. And here are the offers. Again, so offer number one, depending on the situation, it's going to be either a um, a, a owner financing offer or a, um, a master lease option, all right? That's option number one. Option number two for the seller is going to be a uh, bank financing offer, okay? And that is your tr your traditional financing, the offers that everybody has been making for years and years and years. You're getting bank financing, you're putting down whatever you're gonna put down, three and a half percent if it's FHA, 25% or whatever the case may be, all right? It's just your standard run of the mill transaction everybody's used to. That is going to be lower than the first offer, all right? You choose the amount. It could be 10,000, could be 25, whatever. You choose the amount, okay? Um, but that's going to be your, your, your lower offer. And then you're going to offer a cash offer, all right? Um, so now when I say cash, I'm talking real cash. I'm not saying hard money because a lot of people, you know, they, they'll make an offer and they're planning to use hard money and, and they're calling it cash. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about you either have the money sitting in your bank account or maybe you're gonna uh, borrow against your, your IRA, borrow against your 401k, borrow against your life insurance, whatever. But, but you actually have the ability to go to your bank and, and get a, uh, a bank check for this particular amount, all right? That is going to be the lower amount, all right? So three offers, Mr. and Mrs. Um, listing agent, here are my here here is my offer. My offer is a three-tiered offer. The seller has an, an option to choose which one. It's going to be the, um, we'll just say the, the, uh, the owner financing, all right? And okay, it's gonna be, <laughs> I got a bunch of thoughts going on in my head. It's gonna be either the, the, uh, the owner financing or we'll do the traditional financing, which is gonna be lower, or we'll do the cash offer, which is going to be even lower. That's going to be a lowest offer, all right? Um, so now, why why now? Uh, because here's the thing, is that there are transactions that are falling through right now, more so than before, when we're in that hot, hot market. The hot market is still kinda of hot. Um, but there are more transactions that are falling through now because buyers are not able to, uh, to, to, to follow through on the purchase, all right? Interest rates went up, um, and and either just it just doesn't make sense to buy the property anymore because they're they're gonna lose money, or maybe they um, you know, maybe they can't buy the property anymore because their DTI is just out of whack, and with these high interest rates, they just can't buy a house or whatever the case may be. So for those of you who are in a position to buy, uh, the three tiered approach is is definitely something that you want to consider. With that said, I, I want to emphasize what I said in the beginning. This will not 
work for every single transaction, okay? For instance, with owner financing, um, it it's works best if the seller has little or no mortgage on their property, all right? Lease option or the master lease option, again, do some research on that one because that can be kind of complex. Um, traditional financing, that's easy. That's what everybody does every day. And the cash, I mean, if you have access to the cash, then that's great. Again, and I say access, I'm not saying it has to be sitting in your bank account right now. You could borrow against your, your 401k, your IRA, whatever. However, you got to get the money. Um, you know, if you have a friend or family member that you know is going to loan you the money and you can use that as cash, right, th then that, that might be an option as well. All right. So I just wanted to give you guys that, that quick strategy. It's not going to apply to every, every particular situation. It's not even going to apply to everybody because not everybody has that kind of cash sitting around. But for those of you that do, you can definitely win in this market.